Hey, what is going on everyone? Fantastic to see you again. My name's Grant, I'm an English teacher from America, and on this channel I share free lessons to help you become a better, more confident English speaker and learn about American culture. Today I have a listening lesson for you. A couple weeks ago I made a beginner listening lesson and a lot of people really liked the easier content. So for today, I have another beginner lesson. This one's a little bit harder than my lesson from a few weeks ago, but I think you can do it. This lesson will use a video from the History Channel, and in this video, four professional athletes are going to try to break a world strength record. So what we'll do is you'll watch a clip from the video and then learn vocabulary and answer listening questions about it. By the end of this video, you will have gotten some great listening practice and learned a ton of new idioms, phrasal verbs, and vocabulary that you can start using in your English speaking right away. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at some of the vocab words you'll hear in the first clip. If something is iconic, that means that it is extremely famous and very well known. Supposedly, as an adverb, that means something that people think is true and people say is true, but they aren't 100% sure. So, they think it's true, but they don't have any proof. A farmer's carry or a farmer's walk, that just means to carry two objects, one in each hand, at either side of your body, like in the picture. And finally, to gear up for something as a phrasal verb, that just means to put on the correct equipment or gear that you will need to complete a task. You'll hear all four of these in the first clip. Let's watch it now. This is what we came all the way to Scotland for, boys. These stones right here, the Denny stones. For our final challenge in Scotland, we're gonna try and pick up and walk with the legendary Denny stones. Donald Denny was the first super athlete and honestly succeeded in almost anything he tried. These are probably one of the most iconic things in strength history. These two legendary Scottish boulders were originally used as counterweights during the construction of the Potarch Bridge. In 1860, Donald supposedly carried them 17 feet across the width of that bridge. So how are we going to pick these things up? Supposedly how he did it was he would pick and kind of like hip thrust, drop back down, step forward, pick, drop back down. So it wasn't one continuous walk, it was more of an up, down, up, down motion. Right, but there is a record for a continuous walk. It's a farmer's walk type carry. You pick it at the sides and it's one continuous walk without dropping them. And the record in that is just a little bit over eight feet. So what are the exact combined weight of these stones? So the big boy here is 414 and a half pounds. The little guy is 318 and a half pounds with a combined weight of 733 pounds. Jeez. They're awkward, they're big. They're a lot tougher than it looks. A lot of men have come, a lot of men have tried, and a lot of men have failed to even break these things off the ground. If you can even lift the stones, you get your name permanently put in the Denny Stones record book. Let's go get geared up and get after this. Wow. Sounds good. Cool. Let's do it. Okay, guys. Hopefully you were able to understand most of that. Now I want you to speak your answer to these questions. First, what are the Denny Stones? And what will the strongmen try to do with the stones? You can pause the video, record your answer, and then compare it to the example answer that I will give next. Okay, here is an example answer. The Dinny Stones are two large stones in Scotland. They were originally used in the construction of a bridge. Now, they are famous for being a very hard strength challenge. The strong men will try to lift the stones and walk with them. Let's do some listening practice. Listen and write down what Robert, or Obi, that's his nickname, 
says, This is what we came all the way to Scotland for, boys. These stones right here. Let's hear that again. This is what we came all the way to Scotland for, boys. These stones right here. He says, This is what we came all the way to Scotland for, boys. These stones right here. This is what we came all the way to Scotland for, boys. These stones right here. Now listen for what Robert says here. Donald Denny was the first super athlete and honestly succeeded in almost anything he tried. Let's hear that again. Donald Denny was the first super athlete and honestly succeeded in almost anything he tried. He says, Donald Denny was the first super athlete and honestly succeeded in almost anything he tried. Donald Denny was the first super athlete and honestly succeeded in almost anything he tried. Now listen for what the narrator says here. In 1860, Donald supposedly carried them 17 feet across the width of that bridge. Let's hear that again. In 1860, Donald supposedly carried them 17 feet across the width of that bridge. The narrator says, In 1860, Donald supposedly carried them 17 feet across the width of that bridge. In 1860, Donald supposedly carried them 17 feet across the width of that bridge. Now listen for what Brian says here. So what are the exact combined weight of these stones? Let's hear that again. So what are the exact combined weight of these stones? He says, so what are the exact combined weight of these stones? So what are the exact combined weight of these stones? Now listen for what Eddie says. A lot of men have come, a lot of men have tried, and a lot of men have failed to even break these things off the ground. Let's hear that again. A lot of men have come, a lot of men have tried, and a lot of men have failed to even break these things off the ground. He says, a lot of men have come, a lot of men have tried, and a lot of men have failed to even break these things off the ground. And in this sentence, break is the same as lift. A lot of men have come, a lot of men have tried, and a lot of men have failed to even break these things off the ground. And you might be wondering why Eddie has a different accent. He is actually from the United Kingdom, so Eddie has a British accent. The other three are all American, and they have American accents. Now let's look at the vocab for the next section. Fluid, as an adjective, when it's not about water, it means smooth and continuous something that is done smoothly without stopping. Pry as a verb, it means to force something to open. So you could say, they pried open the locked door. Literally, as an adverb, this means like seriously, and it's usually used for emphasis, to emphasize something. For example, you could say, oh, I am so tired. I have literally been waiting here for hours. You're trying to emphasize how long that you've been waiting. Dig into as a phrasal verb. That means to stab or poke into something or someone. And genuinely as an adverb means like truly or honestly. Let's watch the next clip. All right, guys, just so you know, this white tape right here is the current world record for the farmer style carry with these stones. Yep. Okay. You carry them in one fluid motion without dropping them. From that line past here, you on the world record. Okay. Let's get it, guys. On you, AB. Good luck. Ha. Ha. Get up. Get up. Ah. Come on. Let's go, OB, let's go, let's go. Oh, let's go. Ooh. I had to drop. It basically pried open my fingers until it came out of my hands. Ah, oh, my hands are done. No, no, no. Hands are done. It was like holding a thousand razor blades digging into your hand. Thanks, guys. Ah. All right, let's go, Nick. Come on, Nick. Oh, no, yeah. 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 
Nice. Good job, Nick. Nice. Yeah, measure that, yeah. Come on, Ed. Come on, Ed. Come on, Ed. Let's go. Up, up, up. There you go, slow. slow Holding onto the stones for so long, I can literally feel the flesh in my hands tearing, the skin tearing. Get the head! Oh! Ah! Nice work, dude. Wow. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. My hands are literally on fire. Everything's cracked and creased, and there's blood coming out my fingers. That was one of the most painful things I've ever had to do in my strongman career. That is genuinely really painful. <laughs> OK, hopefully you were able to understand that. Now answer this question. What did Robert and Eddie say about lifting the stones? Robert said the stones were like a thousand razor blades digging into his skin and they pried open his hands. After he dropped the stones, Eddie's hands were cracked and bleeding. He said it was one of the most painful things he's ever done and his hands were on fire. Now listen for what Robert says here. It was like holding a thousand razor blades digging into your hand. Let's listen again. It was like holding a thousand razor blades digging into your hand. He says, it was like holding a thousand razor blades digging into your hand. It was like holding a thousand razor blades digging into your hand. Now listen for what Eddie says. Oh my God. My hands are literally on fire. Let's hear that again. Oh my God. My hands are literally on fire. He says, oh my God. My hands are literally on fire. Oh my God. My hands are literally on fire. Now listen for what Eddie says here. That is genuinely really painful. <laughs> Let's listen again. That is genuinely really painful. <laughs> he says, that is genuinely really painful. That is genuinely really painful. <laughs> Here are three words from the next clip that you might not know. A bucket list, that is a list of major goals and events that you hope to accomplish and experience in your life. So it's a list of all the things that you really, really want to do in the future. A feat as a noun with an A, not like the feet on your legs, F-E-E-T. A feat is an achievement or an accomplishment. And if someone says they are at a loss for words, that means that they just saw something so incredible that they can't think of any words to say. They are speechless. There are moments in time as a strongman where the world seems to stop because you're presented with a strength challenge that you've heard about your entire life. And the Denny Stones has been a feat of strength that's been on my bucket list. Gotcha. Commit, come on, let's go. Up. Come on, B. Brian is attempting to break the world record in the continuous carry of the Denny Stones. <sighs> yeah. Let's go, Brian. Come on. Come on. Squeeze, Brian. Keep squeeze. It going. Keep it going. Come Keep on, it going. Get it going. Three, Keep it going. Brian. Let's go. Get here, Brian. Let's go. Let's Break go. Down. Come Let's on, go. Guys. Get it, Brian. Come on. Seven feet, six and a half inches. Yeah. Brian, you just broke the world record for farmer's carry on the Denny Stones. Getting the opportunity to come to Scotland, take on the Denny Stones, and it's something I'll never forget uh, for the rest of my life. I'm at a loss for words, Brian. That was one of the coolest things <laughs> I've ever seen. Yeah. That was really cool, man. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Well done, Brian. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Okay, now I have a listening question. Why did Robert say this? 
I'm at a loss for words, Brian. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. <laughs> Speak your answer and then compare it to my example. Robert said he was at a loss for words because he was so impressed with Brian breaking the world record. Let's do some more listening. Listen for what Brian says here. The Denny Stones has been a feat of strength that's been on my bucket list. Let's hear that again. The Denny Stones has been a feat of strength that's been on my bucket list. He says, the Denny Stones has been a feat of strength that's been on my bucket list. The Denny Stones has been a feat of strength that's been on my bucket list. Now listen for what Eddie says. Brian is attempting to break the world record in the continuous carry of the Denny Stones. <sighs> Let's hear that again. Brian is attempting to break the world record in the continuous carry of the Denny Stones. <sighs> he says, Brian is attempting to break the world record in the continuous carry of the Denny Stones. Brian is attempting to break the world record in the continuous carry of the Denny Stones. <sighs> now listen for what Robert says. Brian, you just broke the world record for farmer's carry on the Denny Stones. Let's hear it again. Brian, you just broke the world record for farmer's carry on the Denny Stones. He says, Brian, you just broke the world record for farmer's carry on the Denny Stones. Brian, you just broke the world record for farmer's carry on the Denny Stones. Okay, I have one more clip. And there's one word you might not know. Ink as a verb, it's similar to write. It means to write something, usually with an ink pen. Let's watch the last clip. Since all four of us successfully lifted the Denny Stones, we got invited by the official record keeper to permanently ink our names in the record book. Brian, you have a, an entry for a full lift up touch, but you also have a lift for a farmer's lift and carry. All right. So that is the world record. That's 11 feet and six and a half inches. Awesome. Yeah, buddy. That was so nice. cool. Well done, buddy. Thanks, brother. That book is going to stay with those stones forever. So anybody 50, 100 years from now can look back and see my name in there and what I accomplished with those stones. All yeah. right. You guys ready to eat? Yeah. Always. Yep. Okay, now I have a challenge for you. I want you to summarize the entire video. So pause this video, speak your summary, and compare it to my example. In this video, four professional strongmen attempted a strength challenge. The challenge was to lift and walk with the legendary Denny Stones. The world record for the farmer's carry with the Denny Stones was eight feet. Robert, Nick, and Eddie all successfully lifted the stones, but couldn't break the world record. Brian was the last strong man to try. He broke the world record by carrying the stones 11 feet, 6.5 inches. Last set of listening questions. Listen and write down what Nick says here. We got invited by the official record keeper to permanently ink our names in the record book. Let's listen again. We got invited by the official record keeper to permanently ink our names in the record book. He says, we got invited by the official record keeper to permanently ink our names in the record book. We got invited by the official record keeper to permanently ink our names in the record book. Now listen for what Brian says. That book is gonna stay with those stones forever. Let's hear it again. That book is gonna stay with those stones forever. He says, that book is gonna stay with those stones forever. That book is gonna stay with those stones forever. Now listen for what Eddie says. All right, you guys ready to eat? Let's hear it again. All right, you guys ready to eat? He says, all right, you guys ready to eat? All right. You guys ready to eat? Okay guys, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you have any questions, you can always drop them down in the comments. Keep studying hard and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day.